What's going on guys, this is Ryan from Learning Worcester Kids and today we're going to be doing an app review of Toka Life Hospital. If you've never heard of this game, it is an app made by Toka Boca and it's kind of a hospital simulation slash exploration type game. And today I'm just going to be showing you guys the basics of the game and what you can learn a little bit from the game. So let's just hop right into it. So the first thing you're going to notice is that it throws us right in front of the hospital. From this point, you can kind of go anywhere you want and that's the beauty of this game. It's all about exploration, doing whatever you want and just going with the flow and going by your own pace. If you look at the side of the building, each floor is labeled 0, 1, 2, 3 and negative 1 which I believe is the parking garage. I'm not going to show you guys all the floors today, I just want to show you guys a sneak peek so you can play it yourself and um, enjoy it and explore yourself. But let's just go into the reception and check, check what's going on there. Okay awesome, so it looks like we loaded into the reception area, um, looks like we have a couple characters in here um, and let's see what we can do. So. Let's uh, take our characters and um, do something. So it looks like we got this guy here. He has a head bandage. Um, we'll take that off for a second. His head doesn't look that bad, but it's probably on there for a reason. So let's just keep it on there. Um, everything basically in the hospital you can interact with, whether it be the camera, you want to turn it on or off, whether it be the radio, you want to change the station, um, whether it be these glasses of water or something. So basically you can make your own story, go with the flow, do whatever you want to do. Um, so let's just, let's, let's take the characters we have and make something of it. So let's grab this character. He's, he's obviously in, in here for, for a reason. So let's throw him in a wheelchair. Um, let him get pushed around. He's obviously not feeling great. He has a whole head wound and stuff. And I guess this is his friend that came with him. She has a ticket. Uh, this ticket doesn't seem to be getting her much. So I guess let's grab another one. Um, so now she's got two tickets. Why not? Um, look at that. <laughs> Put one in each hand. She doesn't know why she has two, but she does now. Um, yeah, this game's an awesome way to practice your flexibility just by exploring, doing, going with the flow and um, seeing what everything has in store for you. Just like if you're going to a summer camp this summer and you really wanted to push the camp to its limits, do all the activities, meet all the people, it's the same type of idea. Um, you can basically meet all the characters this hospital has in store for you find all the interactive things that it can that you can do in it um it just requires time being flexible and um exploring and yeah that's what we're doing today so it looks like we have some characters over here too so let's um this kid um he's not looking he's looking pretty upset right um maybe he needs a snack or something oh, i removed his head bandage let's keep the head bandage on um let's bring him to the snack bar hey what's going on guy Yes, the guy that's just at the snack bar is drinking some milk. Um, let's let's get some uh, chips for this kid. Yeah, yum 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 yum. Looks like he ate the chips. Awesome. Um, now they ate the chips. He's probably gotta go. Um, do whatever. Oh, I <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to give him to the to the deli or to the clerk. But let's put him in the bed. And yeah, yeah. This hospital also has a bunch of different floors with different types of things. You know what? He doesn't seem to want the bed, so they're him in the with the electronic chair. He probably likes it more anyway. But um. This hospital is full of, full of different things, infant section, um, as you can see by like the baby bottle on the number two, uh, reception, garage, elderly section, um, like the surgery section, everything. Um, so you can go wherever you want, explore however you want, and do whatever you want. And that's the beauty of this game. Um, this looks like kind of the entry level place that we can... Um, can we, can we mess with the sun? Oh yeah, awesome. So we actually can change the time of the day just by tapping the sun and stuff too. Um, so... She's waiting for her friend over here, this this girl. She's waiting for her friend to uh, get out of surgery or something patiently. So we'll throw her in the chair. Let's grab her some, uh, let's grab this burger. Oh, it might, we got it. We should grab her a tray too, right? So we can throw the tray on the table. Um, grab her the burger. She's got to be healthy too, so we'll grab her some fruit too. Um, throw it on the tray or on the table for her as well. Grab her some watermelon. Um... Well, you might as well be um grab her some an apple too why not and some entertainment too it looks like you can load up that tray and we'll get her a um sf magazine looks like it has like a ufo or something on it we'll throw that in her hand look at that now she's reading but yeah as you can see you can do whatever you want i don't want to show you guys all the floors i want you guys to be able to explore it yourself and not have the whole game ruined or anything by me but yeah this game is definitely a game of exploration kind of hospital simulation if you've never been to a hospital and you're kind of curious what type of things what type of areas are in hospitals this is a great way to kind of find out in a light-hearted um fun way so hope you guys had fun watching go explore this hospital on your own um once again this is called toka life hospital and hope to see you guys next time on learning worse your kids bye oh look i just forgot this gnome Boop.
Drop him in the box. 